We both work for Enphase Energy, and we're here today to talk about some of the frequently asked questions that homeowners often have when they first start looking into getting solar and maybe battery storage. As customers consider solar, one of the things that they ask is, you know, what are the steps in the process to actually get them to having a solar solution on their roof? Well, the first step as a homeowner is to select the installer that you want to work with. So you interview a few installers, you get a few different quotes, and sign a contract. And typically what they do at that point is start the building permit process. So they drop building plans that have all the electrical details, all the equipment that you're purchasing on those plans and the configuration that you need. And they get a building permit from the local jurisdiction. Now that in some parts of the country, that can happen literally over the counter overnight once the building plans are submitted. In other jurisdictions, it could take much longer, sometimes weeks. I've heard of even months before you can get a permit. But typically for residential, getting the permit happens fairly quickly. The next step would then be the installer making sure that all of the paperwork that's required, the application process that's required by the utility in order to sign up for net metering with the utility is completed in advance as well. You don't want to do that the day of the installation because sometimes it takes some time for them to officially activate that credit system. And then once the system has been installed, which could be soon after the contract is signed, but in some cases, depending on how busy that contractor is, busy the installer is, or how busy things are in that region, it could be two, three, four months before they could install your system. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing. That actually means that the, the installer is a busy company and that means they're likely gonna stay in business for many years to come. Once the system is installed, then the building inspector will come and check it out. Usually as a homeowner, you don't have to be around for that. It's all on the exterior of the house in most cases. And then once the building inspector approves of the installation, then the utility is notified and soon after you'll get permission to turn your system on and start feeding power back to the utility grid. So from a customer's perspective, most of this is invisible and just sort of happening in the background with the installer's support. Is yeah. that correct? That's a sign of a great installer, is a company that's gonna handle that process for the homeowner with as little involvement from the homeowner as possible. Now certainly you're gonna to have to sign some things. You're basically signing a contract with the utility in order to get credit from the utility for the excess power you're signing a contract with the installer for the equipment. So there is gonna be some involvement from the homeowner, but a good installer is gonna keep you informed that the process is moving forward. The installer should lay out clearly what the milestones are in the process so that you know once this step has taken place, what's gonna happen next. So you can understand the whole process and see it through to the end. But again, you don't have to be involved on a daily basis with it. If you didn't get your question answered today, please email us at questions at We'll try to get to it next time.